Yep. I went and hand I bought one. It's a self-writing. Water flows in here. Comes out there. I've got the, uh, I use HXT connectors, so I've already switched out the connectors. They were, uh, some blue thing. Um, a couple of three cell graphenes strapped in there and we're ready to take her out see how it flips I'm just gonna throw it in first and see how it flips make sure it does it and then go for a ride mm -hmm. all right here we go one on the water Watch it flip over here first. We gotta back up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hmm. There's a tree there. Pretty good. I like this little thing. Some are saying they're getting 70 mile an hour out of the box. I don't think that's 70 mile an hour. Probably have to do some tuning a little bit. Let's see if we can make it flip over. I can't even make it flip over. I guess I go get my boat. Well, I guess my soldering job didn't do so good. I'll have to resolder it. So. It got so hot it melted the solder. <laughs> That's not good. No. Okay, I have some thoughts on the uh, Sonic Wake. Uh, the damn thing eats batteries like it's no tomorrow. I got a four minute run off a couple of these and everything is so damn hot. Um, as you've seen before, it had melted the, it had melted the solder connection. So I redid that with uh, silver solder and it's holding, but it gets hotter. I mean, it gets, everything gets so hot. Um, so, um, I'm thinking this boat would benefit from a lower kilovolt motor with a bigger diameter prop um, it'll, it would lessen the uh, amperage draw get more runtime out of her too um, another thing it could uh, take it have it you know you could the trim tabs if you if you could put an adjustable trim tab on there I mean it's adjustable you got to bend it but you know something with a screw like that trim tab, you know, but it doesn't look like it would be able to do it because of this hole right here. So I don't know exactly, but <coughs> seriously, a bug in the mouth? Oh, jeez, that was gross. I don't have to eat tonight. Um, no, 
uh, the self-writing feature, spot on. It's awesome. I was intentionally trying to tip it over out there, and it's getting a little windy and choppy. And uh, I did tip it over a few times. Um, I lost my cameraman. I lost my camera person, so I didn't get to film it because I don't have my GoPro charged. And anyway, um, yeah, it's, I like the boat. It could benefit from, like I said, from a lower kilovolt motor with a higher diameter prop. But other than that, I got no complaint about it. It's it's awesome. It's really cool. No grabbing the no grabbing the boat out and running out to get a tipped over boat. Yep, the fleet. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. All right, I'm gonna do a motor swap in this dynamite motor. Out of there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that one or not, do the speed control or not. But I'm putting the. I'm gonna take the motor out of the Inception, which is a thousand fifty kilovolt, and I'm gonna put it in this because I know that is a. It's a cool running, it doesn't tax the batteries too hard like this thing does. Um, I'll get more than three minutes of run time and I'll have fun. So let's, let's get on with the motor swap. All right, here we go. Got the 180 amp speed control off to the side because it wouldn't fit in the hole here. And to make this motor fit, I had to grind a little bit out because the motor has a little bit bigger diameter than the stock motor so I had to dig it out on the corners and then make room for the bolt that's holding the motor together but right there that's what that divot is for there so but I've already had it plugged in and working and I didn't even need to program the speed control how many times does that happen now let's go find out if anything I did affected the way that it rolls back over. Let's go. Yep, works good. Now I gotta wait around for a camera guy to come back so I can see what it does. I gotta change propellers anyway. So yeah. what do you think we should go with? I don't even know what this is stock. Probably a 45 maybe. Should we try a 52? See what a 52 does? Let's try a 52.
hit the switch again. Yeah, I'd like to hit the switch again. I didn't see that. Okay. I've uh, switched from a uh, 52 millimeter prop, brass, to a 54 millimeter CNC aluminum. Um, it goes a lot better. It's got a lot more throttle response. This boat coming out of the box, I, I don't like it for the simple reason that eight batteries bad. I mean, we're talking two minutes, three minutes run, your batteries were hot as hell, all the wires were hot as hell. I didn't like it. Now, with this one, uh, none of the wires get hot. On the graphene batteries, they get warm, of course, you know, but they're not hot and I was out there for I had to been out there for 15 minutes on those two batteries and nothing got hot jumping around I do absolutely love the automatic turn well, the self writing it's great um, if I would get another way I would recommend this boat but only if you do the upgrades um, I think it's a 100, 180 amp speed control, Leopard, 1050 kilovolt, and uh, 54 millimeter propeller. That's been happening all day long. I've been out, I've been out with this boat and uh, just jumping wakes with it, just burning off batteries, 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 just jumping wakes with it. It's pretty reliable. And when it flips over, it's no problem because it'll flip right back. So. Yeah, I like it. So, I, uh, thanks for watching. Submarine like that to get a
Nope, um... oh, not flipping. God damn it. I'm gonna glue that thing down. It's gotta be Once you go up front, Kurt, are you going to get on the side again? 